Today I want to take an opportunity to um, introduce the new subscribers to my Palette Pal. This is a tool I produce and sell on my website. And um, I introduced them about three or four months ago. I put them up for a little while and took them down. And I went back and forth on whether I was going to keep making them or not make them. And you know, this is a wonderful tool for taking palettes apart. It's very handy. It makes it possible for anybody to easily dismantle palettes. So ultimately I decided that I'm going to keep making them, keep selling them, but I got some help. So uh, it occurs to me I've never done a tutorial on how to use this tool properly. So today we're going to do that. I'm also going to take this opportunity to shamelessly introduce you to another product for dismantling palettes that I have now on my website. And um, stick around to the end of the video. I've got some really exciting news, lots of big changes here at Think, think, at think Woodworks. Think Woodworks. That's me. So anyway, let's get started. <laughs> oh, dork. All right, to get started, what I'm going to do is just take the first slide off. I ran down and grabbed a few pallets from my local grab and get. And uh, to do that, to get the first one off, I typically just stick the tong tongs right underneath there, and I give it a little pressure. And the first one is always the hardest. It's always the one that breaks. So... Okay, with the first couple off, what I want to do is stick the pallet pal up in, underneath here. I don't want to go right up next to it. I don't want to get real tight up against it. I want to stay back a little bit. Because if I'm right up next to it, I'm putting a lot of pressure that's going to try, that's going to go off to the angle here and want to splinter that. So, just by stepping, by leaning it back a little bit like this, I can pop that pallet right up, or that slot right up. I typically do both the each end and then the middle and then the middle one so I don't get hammered so it doesn't pop up. And on these style pallets right here, this little section is kind of a troublemaker because there's really no area there that you can get a good grip on, so you're really low on that. So what I typically do is I just set a little block right there, slide my pallet pal over the top of it. So there you have it. It's really easy to use, and you know the yield uh, that you get from a pallet greatly depends on the quality of wood that the pallet is made out of. If you're getting really thin 3 8 hardwood slats, you're going to crack more of them. If you're getting the softer woods, uh, it's going to work better. If you're getting the hardwoods, try to find the ones that have the uh, 5 8 or 3 quarter inch slats. It works a lot better and there's a lot more material there for you to use. So now I want to introduce you to the Palette Pal Pro. Check this puppy out. This is an all steel construction demolition tool. Uh, I designed it so it works on pallets, decks, anything, you name it, it works. Check this out. So this sucker is made out of entirely metal. It's got a tube steel handle and a tube steel fork at the bottom. And it's got one inches, three layers, one inches of reinforced steel. And the angle right here is reinforced with a lot of steel. This is all solid metal all the way through here. So this thing is durable, it's sturdy, and it comes in at a whopping six pounds. It weighs about as much as your average crowbar. <laughs> it works awesome. The advantage of having the one toe here instead of having the two toes is you don't have to take the time to line up with the board and get them in between both of them 
and if you're tearing a deck apart, you can get right up next to a wall. It's just a better way of doing it, and I'm really excited about this product. Another advantage to this tool over the traditional pallet pal is you do not have to flip your uh, pallet over once you get that first layer off. You just stick the pallet, the, the uh, pallet pal pro, on the slide itself. Put the toe underneath the, the wider board and push. Another nice you know, thing about the Pallet Pal Pro is it works on any kind of pallet. You're not limited to the American style pallet. This will work on the European style pallets, the block pallets, you know, any pallet that you can. Anytime you have a place where you can lay a fulcrum and get the, other, the toe up underneath it, it's going to work. It's going to work great on decks and other things as well. Now to keep this from coming up when I pull on, I'm just going to put a little weight with my left foot. Alright, so uh, they're available on my website now at www.thinkwoodworks.net. Hit the Pallet Pal page. There's a, a couple other videos on there for you know how to, how to take nails out of pallets really easily that will help you with you know reclaiming pallets. Um, the big news here at Think Woodworks is that I am moving shop. Um, I've partnered up with a guy. I want to keep making these and there's a lot of other things I want to do and I can't do it on my own. So I've got help. And um, here's a picture of the new shop. So we're going to be moving shop over the next couple of weeks. There's going to be lots of craziness going on. I've got a batch of pallet pals I'm finishing up. If I haven't shipped a pallet pal to you yet and you'd like the, the new pallet pal pro instead, contact me via my website, uh, the contact information or the contact page, and uh, we can talk about that. Uh, if you want to order one, they're available. Uh, first come, first serve, of course. But remember that we're moving shop and it's going to take 10 days, two weeks for us to get the first batch completed in and out. After that, the weight will be down to about 48 hours to 72 hours before they're shipped. So we're going to substantially decrease the wait time. Up until now, it's just been me building these things here in the garage, and um, the wait time's been 10 days, two weeks, even a little longer for some folks when things get crazy around here. So, with us moving shop, I want to talk about what that's going to mean to, to with, for you as a viewer. Uh, that's going to mean a lot more content, free content. Lots more tips, tricks. Uh, we're going to start talking about furniture design. Of course, we're going to be building lots of crazy jigs, and you know how to do a lot of really cool woodworking with the bare minimum of the tools. That's really been my main focus, and will continue to do so. So, uh, if you'll forgive the occasional promotion of a tool that I'll make available on my website from time to time, there's still going to be tons and tons of valuable, free, fun, crazy, wacky, random content. Because that's just the way my brain works. So we'll be talking to you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, hit the comment section below. Send me an email. Uh, hit me up on Facebook. And we'll be talking to you real soon.